Okay, welcome back to the channel. Hobby One Kenobi here. Today we're going to be priming the vehicle. As you can see, it's ready to go for priming. Uh, this is the step we do right before uh, painting, but I don't always prime. Um, I will only typically prime if I'm working with uh, metal, that is photo etch pieces, or any sort of you know excessive amount of evergreen plastic. Otherwise, I simply won't prime the model. However, I absolutely love this Tamiya Surface Primer. The gray version is fantastic. It levels really well. Uh, it dries super quick and is very, very strong. And as you can see here, I just start with, you know, misting some light coats. I'm trying really hard to not clog these uh, photo etch grills here. I will reposition the vehicle to make it comfortable and make sure that I'm hitting all sides of the photo etch and plastic. Next up is the turret and the turret has mostly plastic at this point. So it's a good reason to just go ahead and prime it. The primer allows for better adhesion for the paints. The primer also allows for me to see any sort of flaws that I might have missed. And now here's the vehicle with the base coat and the markings applied. The base coat is a combination of Tamiya paints. Uh, Tamiya XF55, XF19, and XF2. This allowed for me to get a color that I liked and that I thought represented the vehicle well. Just a little side note about how I choose colors and why I decide to mix. I find that in my references, which I, I like to work from books if I can, of course the internet is a wonderful resource for photos as well, but I find that there are many, many factors that can change the color of an image. Uh, for instance, the sky might have clouds. It might be a different time of day. It might be morning, it might be afternoon, it might be just before night. The actual camera settings might be different from photo to photo. So since there's all kinds of variations, what I tend to do is I'll find photos of the color that I like the best. And I will go ahead and try to replicate that. And that's why I like to mix and match different colors and not just sort of rely on one photo or uh, somebody else's opinion about what the color should be. For this vehicle, I chose a sort of a lighter gray sand as opposed to more of a yellow sand. And I thought that this was more interesting and was, uh, was a color that showed up quite often in my references uh, of these Iraqi T-54s. The books that I use are a series of books from Concord Publications. One in particular is Operation Desert Saber, The Desert Rats Liberation of Kuwait by Bob Morrison. This book is fantastic. It's been a wealth of information. It has been the inspiration for about four or five models up to this point. A final note about the markings. They have all been hand painted just as they would have been in real life. It was a lot of fun to do this. I did really you know, take my time. I may have messed up on one symbol here and there and went ahead and painted over, but overall it was a really, really pleasurable experience. In many ways, preferable to using decals. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. In the next video, we will start the weathering process. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe, please hit the like, please hit the bell for future notifications. Please feel free to comment and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching, bye. Thank you.